Hi friends and welcome back to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. I'm your quiz master Bronco, the PSA 11, and this is our third 10 question quiz about the game we all love. Before you step in the box, hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, go ahead, join the team, become a subscriber to Baseball Card Illustrated. Now, it's time for question number one. Our first question, which pitcher has the most wins in the history of the Texas Rangers? Is it Kenny Rogers, Kevin Brown, Nolan Ryan, or Charlie Huff? You get 10 seconds to answer. The answer is the knuckleball specialist, Charlie Huff, who posted 139 wins. Question number two. Which player had the most hits in Major League Baseball between 2010 and 2019? Was it Robinson Cano, Adam Jones, Miguel Cabrera, or Nick Marcakis? Ten seconds are on the clock. The correct answer is Robinson Cano who had 1,695 hits during the decade. Let's see how well you know Atlanta's big three. Question number three, which of these three Hall of Fame pitchers did Atlanta acquire in exchange for Doyle Alexander? Was it Tom Glavin, John Smoltz, or Greg Maddox? You have 10 seconds. Doyle Alexander was great for Detroit down the stretch in 1987, but the Tigers definitely regretted trading future Hall of Famer John Smoltz for the right-handed pitcher. Question number four. Who earned the save for the Chicago Cubs in the classic Game 7 of the 2016 World Series? Was it Carl Edwards Jr., Mike Montgomery, John Lester, or Araldus Chapman? You've got 10 seconds. If you guessed Araldus Chapman, you are wrong. In fact, the fireballing left-hander got the win in that game, but it was Mike Montgomery that got the save. Speaking of closers, that brings me to question number five. Which Milwaukee Brewers pitcher has recorded the most saves in franchise history? Is it Josh Hader, Dan Plesak, Raleigh Fingers, or Derek Turnbow? You have 10 seconds. The correct answer, with 133 saves to his credit, is Dan Plesak. Question number six is about two of my favorite players. Here it is. Which of these Hall of Fame players had more career hits? The big hurt Frank Thomas or the crime dog Fred McGriff? You got 10 seconds to figure it out. It's a close one, but the correct answer is the crime dog Fred McGriff who had 22 more hits in his illustrious career than the Big Hurt. Question number seven. Julio Franco played 23 years in the big leagues with eight different teams. Which of the following clubs did he not play for? The Chicago Cubs, the Atlanta Braves, the Milwaukee Brewers, or the Texas Rangers? You have 10 seconds. The great Julio Franco played for Philadelphia, Cleveland, Texas, the White Sox, the Brewers, the Tampa Bay Rays, Atlanta, and the New York Mets. However, he never played for the Chicago Cubs. This right here might be my favorite question on the quiz. Number eight, which of these Cincinnati Reds has not won a National League MVP award? Johnny Bench, Barry Larkin, Eric Davis, or George Foster? You have 10 seconds.
The Red Legs have won an impressive number of MVP awards through the years, including a dominant stretch in the 1970s, but Eric the Red was never named a National League MVP. Question number nine. Which catcher has the most hits at that position in Major League Baseball history? Is it Yadier Molina, Ted Simmons, Yvonne Rodriguez, or Carlton Fisk? You have 10 seconds to answer. With 2,844 career hits, Yvonne Rodriguez has the most hits by a catcher in Major League history. Our 10th and final question, which pitcher has the most wins in the history of the Houston Astros? Is it Mike Scott, Joe Necro, Roy Oswalt, or J.R. Richard? You have 10 seconds to answer. Joe Necro has the most wins in the history of the Houston Astros with 144, one more than Roy Oswald. I'd like to thank you for playing along, and I hope you enjoyed this quiz. Please leave a comment and let me know which question you liked the best, which you thought was the toughest, and don't forget to check out other quizzes here on the channel. On behalf of Kevin the Diamond King and our graphics guru Dylan, I'm Bronco, the PSA 11, reminding you to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. So long, everybody. You've been taking a baseball quiz here on the Baseball Card Illustrated channel.